Hello, this is Joan of Art and this is my second day in Bielefeld, Germany. I arrived here yesterday, kahapon, and now I'm taking a walk into the woods of this quaint little place. So, for our Ilongo tutorial, still on duty as an Ilongo tutor, let me translate some of the words in Ilongo for our little tutorial. And now we're taking a walk down into the forest. Forest in Ilongo is Lasang, also Kakahuyan. Kahoy meaning wood or trees. I think I've discussed this in one of my past videos, but, you know, just to demonstrate to you what it is again. And what I'm doing now is naga lakat lakat, walking lakat. This is what they call the wood of the seven lakes. So there are supposed to be. So the challenge is for me to find the seven lakes. So I believe this is the first lake. It's covered in green stuff and with all the ducks swimming. It's my first time to see a lake covered in um, some kind of green thingy, plankton, or whatever. It must be yummy because look at the ducks. They are munching on the green thingy. Hello, duckies! Duck in Ilongo is pato. And lake... In Ilongo is um, Lawa. It's not really Ilongo, it's Tagalog, but yeah, Lawa. And the action of the ducks, like doing that, is called Sirib. So the ducks, like, I don't even know what's that called in English, but in Ilongo, it's called Sirib. So here are the ducks, and I'm so intrigued. Well, it's getting a bit colder now. Tug now, cold. That's why I geared up some more, and we're at the second lake. Second, ikaduha nga lawa. Still covered up in green moss. No ducks here, wala patu. Well, the German sign says Lebensgefahr. Not sure about my pronunciation. Betreten auf eigen Gefahr. Enter at your own risk. Because, of course, it's dangerous to get in there. And why would anyone in his right mind? So let's continue with our walk. Padayon sa paglakat. I need not walk far because there's the third lake, ang ikatatlo nga lawa. I really have to research why this lake is covered in green moss. And wow, it has seven lakes. It's a park that has seven lakes. Right next to the third lake, is the fourth lake just a matter of um, a few meters and there's the fourth lake ang ika apat nga lawa and then right next to that a few meters onward is the fifth lake ang ika lima nga lawa so that's the fourth lake Let's move on to the fifth lake. Oh, it looks lovely, mysterious, enchanting. 
And there goes our favorite ducky ducky. Now, from the fifth lake, I believe, is the sixth lake. However, it's all dried up. In Ilongo, dry means mala. So if it's dried up, nagmala in past tense form. Now, where would the seventh lake be? I thought this is going to be the highlight, but it's becoming bleakier and bleaker. <laughs> so I didn't want to take a video anymore of the seventh lake. I thought it's going to be the highlight of our little trip, but it turns out that it's not as pretty. So from down there, I went up here and then uh, lo and behold <laughs> a tennis court right behind me so it's very modern and <laughs> just this little forest down here to add to the natural touch of this very nice place here in Bielefeld so let us go back down from where we came from and go back. Down means panaog, naog, going down. So we're going down. Going up means pasaka, saka, or up. So we still head on if there is something over there beyond this way. So let's find out. Padayon, continue, continue. Well, well, I'm at the end of my journey. I went up there and there's nothing but houses. Interesting because they're new to my site. But anyway, that's it. This is the seventh lake, but there's nothing in there. Ang ikapito nalawa. Um, nothing much for the seven lake. It's all dried up. <laughs> so we're going back. Going back home means puli in Ilongo. So mapuli nata. Let us go back home. <laughs> this is Joan of Art. And see you in our next Ilongo tutorial video slash tour slash uh, art and whatever. <laughs> Bye for now.